Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to render the video in Unreal Engine 5.1, the latest version of the Unreal Engines. I'm go going to show you step by step how to create a camera in your Unreal Engine 5.1 scene and render it as video format, as an AVI format in your Microsoft window and also how to render the third person camera view. And start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. Just start from the Unreal Engine new project. Now I'm launching the Unreal Editor. Start a fresh new project. Here you have to wait for a while. As demo, I'm going to create a new third person game project. This is just a demo. You can do anything, any rendering from there. Now the Unreal Engine new game project is launching. You have to wait for a while. Right, now everything loaded. As default, if this is the first time you open the Unreal Engine 5.1, you can't see anything. It's just like this. And you can see a play test button. This is what we call the third person game. Right, now. And actually, you can render any video inside here not only the third person game developing. So now I'm going to show you how. The first thing what you, you are going to do is click the window, just call out a content browser, we call it the content browser once, then you can see all the contents here. Next, you have to click here to add a level sequence. This is the second step. Right, you can name it and you can choose not to name it, it is up to you. And now I save it as, now it pop up a sequencer actually. This is the new, new level sequence. It automatically opens the sequencer. If you close it, later you still can open it. Just from here, window, cinematic, take recorder. Right, if you close it, if, or if you accidentally close it, you also can just open the new level sequence like this. You open it, then go to the window, cinematic, Take recorder, you have to open it, something like this. All right now. Next, maybe you want to render some of some of the video here by using the animation sequence. And what to do? The first step, you have to go to the content browser. And as as demo, I will just use the existing resources. The animation sequence is inside the characters. Let's say the mannequin 04. The animations here i have an animation sequence if i double click you can see this is an animation sequence right now i can drag it into the scene and let it be here if i play now you can see it is here right now and i also can find more animation sequence from the character another folder is mannequin this is the unreal engine 5.1 default avatar the animation is here the queen, right, this is walk. Let's say I want her to walk here. And this is another running. Right, now you can see all of this animation sequence once I drag it into the scene. You can look at the outliner. One, two, three, totally three animation sequence that I added to the scene. Next is to add, add a camera. In order to add a camera, you have to go to the window and you should be able to see a place actor. Call the place actor out, then click the cinematic. Click the cinematic and you can drag out this one, the sign camera actor. This is the camera actor, you drag it out. But if you want to move the camera in this way, it is not that easy. So you can just make it a pilot, so right click, pilot, pilot the camera actor. Now, you can use your, your A, ASWD to control. So, hold the right click button and using the AWSD to capture the angle that you want. Let's say I want to capture render from this, right? This is exactly how the the camera screen will look like. So once done already, 
just turn off the pilot active now so automatically the camera already put at the correct position do not move it now if you click the camera this is a preview cam and next back to your sequencer and then this is your tape recorder add a resource add a source then choose the camera card to make sure you add one here and here you already have a, a camera just now you add in from here correct this camera you drag it into here drag and drop into here and next you are going to adjust how many seconds how 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 much is the time length of your video rendering by default it is about five seconds here so you can adjust it here right click click the click this one and then remove the double zero make it 30 enter now this is a 30 second time range then you have to adjust the range to 30 seconds like this 30 second and fifth sorry 30 seconds here then you drag this as well like this done make sure you adjust the time length properly now it's 30 seconds and 15 degree next you can start to render the video in order to render the video you have to click this this button render this movie into a video or image frame sequence click this and then the image output format usually we don't touch it the avi is okay so here you don't have the mp4 so i use the avi is okay the capture setting and next the resolutions maybe you want to to choose it as 1080p and as demo i will just keep it as 720p is okay next the most important one is the output directory in which folder you want to save your avi video that you render you click here and then as demo i will choose my desktop i create a new folder on my desktop i name this folder as video rendering video render all right that's cool double click open into the destination folder and select folder once done already you have to scroll down make sure you click the advanced and then you allow allow the movement allow turning and show player because this is a third person game project you still have a third person player here later you can control the player it is very convenient to make it as like a motion director just by using the player if you don't want to use the player it's, it's cool you just need to capture the animation sequence that already inside your unreal engine 5.1 game project or you can import any other 3d avatar with animation sequence you can put it here to render once everything done ready at this moment click capture movie and save selected and now it takes a countdown and you have to wait for a few seconds here right capturing the video you have to wait until it finish compiling the shader it is just a few seconds it depends on your computer speed sometimes it have a lot of the shader to compile so now it start already actually it can capture about 30 seconds and this is the player just now you choose to show the player so actually this player you can control or if just now the advance the advance there if you choose not to show the player is okay then the player won't appear at inside the, the screen right so it is exactly about 30 second and 15 degree so now it already finished rendering already or if it not reached 30 seconds you can press escape button to, to skip it now we check the video render folder this is really an avi this is a type of the video format that is ready to play you can see you already successfully render the video into, into the folder video render double click now you can see this is a 7 
720p video already rendered into into your window and this is the player All right now because of you choose to show the player if you choose not to show the player then three of this you have to untick it and then you can see actually you already place place the animation sequence here this is an arrow it disappear and now this is an arrow to solve this problem you just need to close it and then restart the game project then everything will be fine now i close it and open it again everything will back to normal just load it again this is the project just now All right now everything ready back to normal and then your camera is still there you can see this is the camera it's still there if you want to render it again you can drag it drag it here again and choose choose a camera cut again and just render it again all right for this tutorial i already show you how to use the camera to render the the, the scene as the video and next I'm going to show you how to render the third person player. Right, it is really simple. Same as just now. Now the default is five seconds. The sequencer, if let's say you close the sequencer, you, you have to open it again. It is here. Double click to open and call out the take recorder. It is simple. And then default is the range is five seconds here. You have to make sure you make it become 30 seconds and per and the range you drag it to become 30 seconds like this 30 seconds or more more than 30 seconds is okay just like this all right next add the source add the player once you want to start render you just need to click here and you have to make sure under the advance at the bottom here allow the movement allow the turning and also show the player once everything done ready check the directory it is on it will render the video on my desktop under the video re render folder capture the movie now it will become a third person rendering wait it is here this is a third person rendering for this time the camera will keep on follow the third person player this is not a dead camera, this is the camera that well, on the player. So of course this can become a motion director for your Unreal Engine. If you want to use a third person game project as the video rendering. Now actually it render, it already finished render, check your folder. The folder is at here on my desktop under the video render. This is the second video. I render it as a third person. It is totally 30 seconds, as, as you said. Now you can see, it really render it as an AVI. This is a full video, 30 seconds. If you want to render more, maybe you can put it as one minute if you want, or all right here the range all right in this in this tutorial i already finished show you everything how to render the video in unreal engine 5.1 how to set the camera and how to render from the camera to render the scene and also i already show you how to render the third, pers third person view how to focus on the player to render the whole video and everything already here which you all can render the video in Unreal Engine 5.1. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial or sharing, if you feel all this tutorial and sharing are very helpful to your 3D animation, 3D modeling, and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy. Happy 3D modeling, 3D animation, and game developing. See you.